Yeah, it's found it and all that good stuff. We'll go here. Uh, you've got to download this SD card formatter. And it comes from, where did I get this SD card formatter? Let's see, did it say? Right here, SD Association, SDCard.org downloader, memory card formatter. And so, let's make sure we got the right one selected here. D, yeah. <clears throat> Quick format, 14 gigs. I'm just going to hit format. It will erase everything. Good, yes. We close that. And then the next thing we got to do is go download the, uh, the Pi operating system. RaspberryPi.org. Downloads. Noobs. I think that's what we're using. Let's double check. Make sure. And I think this operating selection is. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Let's cancel this. Sorry. Yes. The noobs operating system is what's causing some of the slowness, maybe. Uh, we'll have to get around to cleaning it up. Yes, noobs. All right, so you just go here. Uh, noobs offline network install. Download zip. It's a big file, so uh, it takes a while. I've already downloaded it. Once you've got it downloaded, uh, where is it? You go here. Uh, you right click. Extract all, and it will dump this large blob of stuff out here. And all you got to do is click this, shift click this, right click, and copy them every file onto your new SD card. Just give that a second. So now we'll just right click eject. We'll grab that off the side here. Take it out of its pull it out of its large case. And then we we'll just stuff it here like so. Right. Uh, let me see something again. Don't look right to me. Pull it back up. Get in there. All right, I think that's right. I'll give it some power. Just uh, plug the power in here. Now, our screen should start working. Just as camera is here. So it has to go through an install process. You just copy the files over to the Raspberry, which basically lets it install the operating system. I'm going to use the mouse majigger. And we're going to choose Raspberryan, Raspbian, Raspbian. Just slide over there, click that, and click install. Yes. And it's probably going to take a long time. Okay, so we're here at the end. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna 
it doesn't look very good, but it basically says OS is installed. You're good to go. So I'm just going to click OK. And it should uh, reboot, I believe. There it goes. And it'll come back up into the installed operating system. And you can see here that the screen's not actually adjusted to where it takes the whole thing. And we have to go and set that up. So that's going to be the next little piece that I'll do here. I'll show you how to configure the screen so that it loads the right graphics drivers and uh, <clears throat> utilizes the whole thing. And uh, grab your mouse. You probably won't get this warning, so don't worry about it. It's just online. And the first thing we need to do is, is set up our keyboard. Go to Preferences, Mouse and Keyboard Settings, click on Keyboard tab, click Keyboard Layout, and you'll pop, you'll get a little menu of stuff here. You may have to scroll around to fit it, but click on United States, and then scroll all the way up on the right hand side to English, and click OK. Click OK again. And that'll help us out quite a bit. Click the terminal, and then in your terminal, type S U D O space N A N O <coughs> space forward slash B O O T forward slash config dot txt. Enter. What we're going to do is we're going to edit some of the driver settings and the display settings. To get our screen to load up to the right uh, width and resolution. Okay, so I'm just going to arrow down to disable overscan and I'm going to uncomment that out with the back key. And then I'm going to scroll down to HDMI force hot plug equal one, uncomment that out. And then here, we need to change our group number to 2. Just going to back that out, put 2. And then our mode is going to be 87. Enter. And then we need to add two lines. Oh, they're already there. <clears throat> we need to enable these two lines. Uh, you may not have those here, I believe. I've already tested this out a little bit. But... The lines are uh, HDMI underscore CVT equal 800 space 480 space 60 space 0 space 0 space 0 and then HDMI underscore drive equal 1. And then also there's two lines here that say frame buffer. You need to uncomment those and set the width to 800 and the height to 480. Now uh, I'm going to press control X to quit. And it says, do you want to save changes? I'm going to press Y for yes. And then it's going to know what file. Uh, that's the one we want to save to. Just press enter. And it's wrote it. Click up here. Do shut down. And click reboot. Now you can see here we're using the whole screen. And our graphics are a lot cleaner. It's slow booting. Uh, I need to work on that quite a bit. And see what I can come up with, but it doesn't take too long. And once it's up, the next step that we need to do is download Tuner Studio and get it set up and configured. 